All right, we got the Royal Rumble to talk about here, and it did, in fact, end with a fantastic angle as uh, Kevin Owens was defeated. There was a ref bump in the match. He did get a visual pinfall after after a uh, pop-up powerbomb. But uh, he asked for a chair from Sami Zayn. Sami was hesitant. To Roman Reigns asked for a chair, not, not yes, Kevin. Yes, Roman. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, Sami was hesitant to throw it into the ring, but he eventually did. But uh, it did not matter. Roman ended up hitting the spear, pinning Kevin Owens. And then afterwards, the entire bloodline went to beat down Kevin Owens. And they pummeled him. And, you know, Sammy doesn't know what to make of this. And they get handcuffs. And they handcuff him to the ropes. And they're super kicking him, super kicking him, super kicking him over and over again. Sammy's distraught. Roman Reigns in gets a chair. And he's going to absolutely destroy Kevin Owens with this chair. And Sammy can finally take no more, and he steps in front of Roman Reigns. And he says, Roman, don't do this. You've beaten him. You've done enough. You've done enough. It's below you, he says. It's beneath you, yeah, yeah. Beneath you to do this. And so Roman looks at Sammy and he says, all right, well, you do it. And he gives him the chair. And, of course, Sammy Zayn takes the chair, and, you know, the fans are chanting his name, and... Roman Reigns, you know, gives him this big speech about how you're part of this family. It's the this is the most you've ever been in your entire career. You want to go back to doing that jackass bullshit? Hmm. End this thing right now. And so Sammy takes the chair and he rears back and he whacks Roman Reigns in the back. Yeah, the place was, goes crazy. That was a huge pop for that. It was um a takeoff on when Seth Rollins did the same thing to Roman Reigns That's with the right. Shield breakup. When the Shield broke but, up, but yeah, that pop was enormous. And so they go crazy, and then we have uh, Jimmy Uso and Solo Sokoa beating down Sammy, and they're stomping on him and they're pounding on him, and Jay Uso just cannot bring himself to join in, and the fans start chanting Jay's name, and they're looking at Jay. Come on, let's do this, and Jay just shakes his head. And finally, he turns and he rolls out of the ring, gets an even bigger pop. He starts walking to the back. He walks out on the bloodline. They totally destroy Sammy. Roman takes a chair, beats this guy on the back over and over and over again, chair shot after chair shot. Yeah, like like nine or ten of them, yeah. And uh, they leave. Sammy's down. Kevin's still slumped in the ropes, handcuffed. And Jay has gone off on his own. So, man, the crowd... It was, it was interesting because... Crowd was absolutely insane for the Men's Royal Rumble. Then they do the pitch black match, and man, it sucked. It was, uh, from what I was told, this was kind of the bathroom break match. Well, then they had the women's, uh, the seven-minute title match. Bianca and Alexa Bliss match, which was nothing. And then they had the women's uh, Royal Rumble, which really was nothing until like the last couple of minutes. The the last few minutes were good, but it was was there. Yeah, and by this point, you know, it it was four hours into the show before we got the ref bump this show went four hours and 20 minutes and you know they were they were into the main event because of who was in there but it wasn't like super reactions but man when they shot that angle at the end it brought that crowd to life well it was one of the best angles ever ever that i watched that thing and it was like that angle was so tremendous and it's really interesting i mean when it's over I mean, with all due respect to Cody, it's so obvious that the WrestleMania match should be Roman and Sammy, whether they're going to do that or not. And and I, I could tell you as of the middle of last week, they were not, but that can change, um, you know, based on the crowd reaction. Well, I mean, Cody at the press conference tonight, he did the big promo on Roman, so... That doesn't. Well, I'm, 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 I'm. I mean, sure he that, has to one way or the other, but he, he has he has to right now anyway. I'm sure that that. Well, but put the. Like, that is the plan, or or at least was the plan as of uh, Wednesday or Thursday. Um, whether they'll change it or not, I mean, when I was talking about it, I already knew that it was it was not Roman and Sammy at WrestleMania, which is probably one of the reasons I talked about it so much last week. But but um, you know, based on this reaction, um, I guess we'll find out. I haven't heard anything tonight you know one way or the other and 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 if it was going to change it wouldn't be tonight anyway it would probably be before tv on monday if they were going to make a change in direction and and they may not because once you kind of have that rumble win kind of like the rule of thumb is is that that guy's got to get the shot 
So we talked about the main event at the beginning of the show, but it was Roman Reigns, Kevin Owens, and match was good. There's some great stuff in it. The end was scary. As uh, I, I, I didn't. Um, I mean, I thought the match was 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 fine. I mean, there's not. You know, I mean, Owens Owens almost got hurt on that moonsault spot when he slipped off the ropes. He did slip off the ropes trying the uh, double jump moonsault. Yeah. And the scariest one was when he took two bumps onto the step part of the steps, and uh, that was late. That was that was near the end. That's basically what killed him and led to the finish. Yeah. It was. It looked. It looked brutal. I. I presume that like he was putting his hands behind his head, but still, you're smashing your head into your hands into the edge of those steps. I mean, that did not look good at all. But that set up uh, Romans hitting the spear and then the uh, the post show uh, stuff there. I mean, I it thought awesome. like I thought that the the match itself I thought was good, but but. Not as good as most main events, but the post match was fantastic. You know, just everyone, everyone, uh, just what a, what a what a wonderful job they all did. You know what it was? It was a fantastic payoff to what has been a fantastic storyline. Yeah, one of the best storylines they've. I done. can't say payoff. It was a fantastic. Well, yeah, uh, no, it's not the payoff. It's actually it's actually the big angle to start everything. Yes. I mean, like we we've, we've had the storyline that's been building, and the thing is, okay, this is this one thing on this show, okay. I've seen people complain about it was predictable because the key things, Cody winning the Rumble was, was largely expected. You know, um, Rio winning was largely expected. Nobody believed that Roman Reigns was going to lose to Kevin Owens, and they didn't know for sure the split was going to happen, but they know this. I mean, they've known the split was going to happen for, for, for months. They just didn't know what day, and they knew it was coming soon because WrestleMania is coming. So you got to do it enough time before and all that, right? So I think there's a lot of people who expected, you know, after the last couple weeks of television, that this show would be the split, and it was. So the key thing. Well, I mean, are, they eventually they they literally told us in a in a video package at the beginning of the show that every story has an ending, and the ending takes place tonight. Yeah. It's like, okay, well, well I guess the ending the takes ending. place tonight. This isn't the ending. This is the... the well, it's the ending of Sami Zayn and the Usos. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah, the yeah. bloodline. Okay. But, I mean, the whole thing is... This, but, but all these things are completely predictable, and all of them, I mean, as far as they had to be, right? I mean, you know, you could put somebody else in the Rumble, and, and Cody didn't have to win the Rumble. I mean, it's like you could have picked somebody else. And there's, but it, there's nothing wrong with it, and he was... Of the choices they had, if they, you don't put Sami Zayn in, he was the best choice of anyone. Rhea Ripley, considering where they were going, was the choice. and But but you knew it. And, I mean, the whole thing is, it's predictable. Predictable, some people like were like, oh, it was so predictable. It's like, well, when you're going into WrestleMania, the stuff going into WrestleMania should be the most predictable stuff because it's the, the culmination or the... the continuation this wasn't the culmination but it's the continuation of, of storylines that have been built that you can see coming and then they come and that's the key you know the, the only swerve was the jay uso thing you know it's like i don't think anybody knew that that one was coming but every other aspect of it you know, i mean especially when they're beating down kevin the way they were you knew that sammy was going to have sympathy on kevin you didn't know he was going to necessarily hit Roman with a chair, but you did know that he was getting and really the on. the Jay Uso thing wasn't even a swerve at all. I mean, people people might not have expected it, but I mean, if you watch this segment on Monday, I mean, they all wanted to get rid of Sammy except for Jay. He's the one that yep. stood up with, for him, and and he was the one guy that was on Sammy's side. So y y you could consider it a swerve, but it actually well, would, makes total I, I would, sense in storyline that he no, would no, do no, that. But but that's that's good. You want it to make total sense. Yes. I mean, but the point is is that I don't think people expected it though. But but yes, now that they did it, does it make sense in hindsight? Shouldn't it always make sense in hindsight though? Well, of course it should. That's the idea. That's that the idea of doing a good story is that like you don't see it coming, but then when it comes you go, "Oh, yeah, there you go." And that's what this was. It's like it's not like something we're going to swerve you for the sake of swerving you even though, you know, which happens all the time in wrestling. Um, this was like this has really been a great storyline because when I look when you look back on this storyline, you can go in there and go, yeah, this adds up to this, this adds up to this. The J thing absolutely makes sense thinking backwards, and it's like that's what you that's a good storyline. So um, and and it was so hot. I mean, just 
Everybody knew it was coming, but it was so hot. And that's the key to this whole thing. If it's like, you know, and, and again, like, like, uh, TV rating on Friday looks like it was very, very high. Um, the Sami Zayn segments, you know, on Monday were very, very high. Um, you know, the, the, you know, interest level, you know, interest level in this rumble, you know, I mean, you know, was, was, um, I don't know if it's the highest because obviously there's probably more interest in the rumbles in the late nineties because wrestling was much bigger, but this rumble, you know, it did set, you know, a record gate. It really did have whatever the number real, the real number is 46,000. I mean, they did not exaggerate at the level of a usual stadium exaggeration is about 10. And this was probably about five. And if, if even that, I mean, they did exaggerate some, but the gate, you know, the gate was, I mean, the gate was seven million on what day would I hear that? Did they tell me that it was, uh, I believe Tuesday, Wednesday, maybe whatever it was, the gate topped seven million. It might, they were hoping maybe eight million and, you know, blew away. There's never been a Royal Rumble with a gate anywhere close to that. Like the, 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 it was a, a huge, huge success. There are going to be more people watching this than any Royal Rumble in history. Um, in the United States anyway, I don't know about worldwide, but United States there will be. And, you know, everything's peaking. I mean, it's, it's like, it's, it's like, that's what an angle is supposed to be is to peak interest. So this is a very successful angle because it basically bucks the trend of, um, you know, I mean, as far as television goes, I mean, year by year by year, the ratings always go down and they should have gone down just by the lack, you know, by the decline in homes. And in fact, they are up, you know, and they are up because they got a really hot angle with you, with all these guys, you know, Sami Zayn and the Usos and all of them that people are, you know, I mean, there's other reasons too, but that is the key reason, the number one angle, it's clicking. Here is some actual commentary from Bash and Burger. I love barbecue. It's a lot of fun. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> During this match. Uh, I believe uh, Bastion was uh, choking on his chicken wings. Bastion said, uh, Vince, you haven't lived up to your contract. I uh, require four or five pizzas delivered in a wheelbarrow. It was at this point that Bastion Burger demanded hot dogs. <laughs> were I they wasn't. delivered in a wheelbarrow, too? Yeah. That's a big hot dog. We were told Razor and Zanetti have called. It's a big wiener. <laughs> <laughs> yes, Brian. Big juicy wiener. Yes, in between two buns. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you broke Vinny. <laughs> If you enjoy these videos, for just $7.99 per month, you can enjoy full-length editions of The Brian and Vinny Show, Wrestling Observer Live, Figure Four Daily with Tom Lawler and Lance Storm, The Mad Men Podcast, Speak Now Pro Wrestling with Denise Salcedo and more, plus hundreds of archived shows, all in beautiful HD. Don't miss out. Join us today.